Namaskar. You are watching Topper Stock, and in this series of Topper Stock, today we have K Subha Sai. She has secured All India Rank 12 in Electronics and Telecommunication in Engineering Services 22. So, congratulations, uh, dear, for this wonderful achievement. Congratulations to you and your family. She has done uh, her uh, graduation from NIT Warangal in 2018. And uh, after that, uh, she started to prepare for uh, uh, various competitive examinations. And uh, presently, she is em uh, employed in uh, uh, IGCAR. Uh, so when this journey started, when you made your mind to prepare for uh, engineering services? Uh, sir, in my final year, I have uh, I have come to know about engineering services through my friends. Uh, then I have decided that I have to do something in my uh, core department and then I have started preparation. Mm -hmm. So in final year, uh, I got a chance to give exam, uh, but it was without any preparation. Okay. So I gave the exam, but I could not clear prelims. So mm -hmm. from then I have uh, registered in my mind that I have gone into ESC itself. Mm -hmm. uh, later, in I have taken a job through my college placements. Um, mm -hmm. And uh, in 2020, along with my job, I have prepared on my own and uh, I gave, but I could not uh, clear prelims that time. So then I decided that I have to leave the job because along with the job, it was tough. Anyhow, my final destiny was to go into engineering services. Mm -hmm. So I left the job. In 2020, I started, I, I took coaching from Medis. But then, then itself, COVID started. So uh, everything went online. 2020, mm -hmm. full, I have uh, all the classroom course went through online mode. Okay. And in 2021, uh, I have uh, given attempt. I cleared up to interview. Unfortunately, okay. I could not make it to the finalist. And this okay. attempt, how again, I have... How much marks you secured in last interview? Given. Uh, in last interview, how much marks? Sir, in secured? last interview, my... Yes, sir. Last interview, I got 115. Hmm. It's a good score. So probably um, in um, mains, uh, you will be like... Left. Right, right, right. Means. So this year you improved yes. it. How did you um, um, work yeah. on those areas where in mains you were lacking and in last attempt you could not score well marks and in this attempt obviously you improved it. That's why such a good rank you secured. So what was your plan for mains examination? Sir, uh, the main thing for mains examination is practice. Sir. Right from the beginning till the uh, mains examination date, we should practice, practice, practice. And we have to attempt as many as test series mm -hmm. as possible. So uh, in 2021, I did not practice much. And uh, even the test series, those were online test series. I did not take them seriously. Mm -hmm. So there I, uh, I failed. But in 2022, uh, actually, I have attended test series in uh, um, Hyderabad Medici. Mm -hmm. So I came to Hyderabad and I started serious preparation for things. And that's the main key, sir, the practice and test series. So um, did you had any plan like that? Ki these are the subjects which you have prepared and these subjects you are going to leave. Uh, have you prioritized any subject or are you prepared all the subjects? Sir? I prepared all the subjects, but in that also I strategically uh, prioritized based on the previous year's question papers. Uh, whichever has highest weightage, I prepared a lot in that. Lower weightages, I prepared little bit in it. Okay, okay, okay. So few subjects, if you would like to tell to the students uh, uh, from uh -huh. electronics background, okay, what are the few subjects which are highly scoring and more focus should be put on those subjects? Okay. Sir, in paper one, uh, network analysis and uh, uh, analog electronics these two are the main important subjects um, more network has higher weightage in means mm -hmm. so everybody should be perfect in networks mm -hmm. and uh, even, uh, the analog electronics also and when coming to right. paper two uh, control systems mm -hmm. and uh, communications are the most uh, weightage subjects uh, and along with the electromagnetic fields right uh, these three subjects uh, we have to prepare a lot and the and computer organization also usually students leave computer organization hmm. but it is a very scoring subject right. even uh, the question the question is like that if you solve a little bit the answer will be there right. um, and it is very small uh, syllabus also uh, right. actually cao is a very good scoring subject in paper right, right, right. 
Ah, yes, few subjects should be prepared from this mind frame also. Okay? Their syllabus is limited and the level of questions are not in yes, that sir. much depth as they are in the core subjects. Yes, sir. So, good. That makes a topper different than the uh, ordinary students. We need uh, to make certain plan. Um, it is a long journey and sometimes uh, demotivation also comes while preparation. So, how did you yes, overcome those kind of thoughts? Uh, yes, sir, as you said, I was very demotivated after my 2021 attempt. Mm -hmm. I thought I could make to the finalists. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, as soon as that uh, happened, uh, my main exam was very near. So mm -hmm. that diverted a bit. Mm -hmm. And I talked to many mentors, like the students who have qualified previously IES mm -hmm. and gave. Mm -hmm. I talked to them. They motivated me a lot. And my family and friends, uh, they have supported me a lot lot in all the ways whenever I was low my friends were there all the time so with their support only I came till here you belong from a very good college so obviously your basics uh, uh, were strong yes, may sir. be better than the normal yes, students sir. and IT Warangal is one of the most reputed colleges of our country, yes, country. so yes, uh, did it help you or did this was the reason why first two attempts you failed because you may be a little bit overconfident ki maine bahut acha padha hai and still um, <laughs> what was the uh, no sir actually uh, because of my college background my basics were strong but right uh, i i actually don't know properly like what is the syllabus and what to study which subjects to prioritize i do not ha have a pro proper roadmap that's why i failed in first two attempts right. after joining coaching uh, like uh, there was a proper notes and i know which subjects to how much time i have to give to which subjects uh, so there was a proper plan after this right so uh, it actually in college the syllabus is different yes sir hmm. Good, good, good. So it helped you. Um, uh, some of the some questions I would like to take from the students they have sent me through the various yes, uh, digital sure. mediums. So you have done very well in gate examination also. In gate, your rank yes. was 254 in 21 and 188 in 22. Uh, Yes, sir. How do one should manage preparation for both of these examinations? Because the nature of questions are uh, totally yes. different in GATE and engineering services. So yes. how did you manage these exams? Sir, uh, the syllabus on a whole and the notes is same for both uh, GATE and ESC. Right. Uh, since there was a time gap between GATE and ESA prelims exam, hmm. so usually uh, either of them uh, have like, there is a one month gap. So in that one month gap for gate particularly, you have, we have to attempt as many as test series as possible. Mm. The test series is the key for gate exam. Mm. Uh, so there will be a lot of practice. Mm. Uh, for ESA also, when that time comes, you can, ESA is a little bit, a bit of theoretical subject where mm. gate is full of mathematical subject. Mm. So uh, we have to keep that in mind. Whenever that exam comes, at least before one, one month, we have to attempt the test series. What I have done is for the 20 days before gate exam, every day I used to write two uh, test series. That helped me a lot to clear gate exams. Okay. So, so key to the preparation is to practice as much questions as you can and particularly yes. use test series in effective way. Yes, right, sir. Right, yes. Right. So, good, good. Uh, so um, uh, any uh, special strategy, have you prepared short notes for the revision or anything like that? Yes, sir. Uh, after each and every uh, revision, I used to prepare a short notes for that subject and all the short notes I used to keep at one place. Mm -hmm. So whenever the exam comes, uh, not not going through the whole notes, I used to go through the short notes, mm -hmm. like all the formulas, all the theoretical uh, important statements I used to write in a place. Mm -hmm. And just before the exam, like four to five days before the exam, it is very useful rather than going through the whole notes. Mm -hmm. Since you have done um, two attempts with self-study and two attempts with the uh, uh, preparation with the coaching, uh, so, yes. what is your suggestion regarding yes. the source of study? How much should be source of study? What are the different sources which a student should use for this examination? Okay. So, either the <coughs> self-study or coaching, the main important thing is we should have a proper notes. 
we should know what and all topics are uh, the mentioned syllabus in the esc notification according to that uh, the uh, the prescribed text if if somebody is doing self coaching they can go through the prescribed text and accordingly they can prepare notes the mm-hmm. notes is the main key point once it is prepared uh, any any time we can go and refer to that so uh, notes and definitely we have to practice and uh, at the time of just before the exam like two months or one month we have to go through the test series right so um, have you appeared in mock interviews before the actual interview yes sir i have appeared the mock interviews sir, sir. both oh, 2021 they, and 22 for the, right were they helpful for the final interview or uh, uh, not helpful y- yes sir actually the yeah yeah they are, they are, they were helpful sir uh, actually uh, we will get an idea about how the environment will be there how, what type of questions will right. be asked uh, with that only i improvised from one mock to one mock right. they helped me a lot right, right, right. anything which you want to tell uh, uh, to the young aspirants uh, you want to suggest them you can share it uh, before we wrap up this session okay uh whatever uh, the goal is in their mind either gate esc or any other mm-hmm. thing uh, we have to stay determined and strong uh, till uh, we get we achieve it uh, there will be lot of demotivation in between there will be lot of uh, uh, you know so, so many things coming up uh, we should overcome all that uh, mainly uh, family and friends and uh, motivators and uh, teachers we can approach them they are there to help us um, anything is possible uh, with some four difficulty. attempts i have taken i have uh, though there are many demotivations i have not stopped at any point i was stick to my plan and i was stick to my goal uh, stick to your goals uh, definitely you will achieve it no matter what it will right. take time but it may take time but ultimately something or the other we, we are going to achieve it bilkul 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 so one should keep patience and one should keep on working uh, that is uh, yes. the message yes. given by uh, this couple uh, thank you uh, subha for joining us and uh, once again i would like to congratulate you and your family for this great achievement and uh, be an excellent officer for this country and serve this country in the best possible manner so thank you for joining us thank you very much